Hi, this is Greg Willie from Friendship Animal Protective League, and today we're going to talk about rescuing animals. Uh, not just any animals, but uh, one thing that makes us really, really successful is we go and work with our local county kennels from Lorraine to Huron to Holmes, Trumbull. We help pull in dogs from these open intake facilities. These are all typically stray dogs with limited history. So we got uh, Tim, the Lorain County Dog Warden, reached out to us and there was a dog on there on the website that they, on the email that he posted to us about a female boxer lab that I thought was really, really cute. So today we're going to go out there and check her out and see if we can bring her back here where she'll have a better chance of finding a home than she would maybe over at the Lorain County Kennels. So we're here at Lorain County Dog Kennels and we're actually going to pull a couple of dogs today. We're going to go inside, we're going to check out and uh, visit with some of them. Our objective is to find dogs that we think will be uh, maybe being overlooked here that we will have a better time or easier time placing in our shelter. So that is our goal today and let's go inside and take a look. So here we are at Lorraine County Dog Kennels, and this is the dog that we saw online earlier. And what we do is we go down and we actually kind of try to find that dog in the rough. And one of the things I do when I'm looking for that kind of dog is I spend some time with them, see how they behave in the cage, because obviously we're not taking them to a home, we're taking them to another kennel. So how they behave in the kennel is very important to us. So when we see a dog like this, we see he's not being aggressive, he's not jumping, she's not going uh, at, charging at the cage. She's also not being overprotective of uh, the food bowl here, which is a very good sign for her. Um, so the next thing we do is kind of see, because this is something that we encourage our adopters to do, is to see how they behave when giving a treat, because we'll have a bowl of treats in our facility that they can do. And if a dog sits, and behaves for it, we know that there's a better chance that that dog will be adopted. So the next thing I like to do, and this is a little thing I learned from uh, one of my rescue friends. When we open the cage door, what we want to do is open and hold the mouth open. If we open and hold the mouth open, the dog behaves well and doesn't really fight us. We know that this dog is a very low bite risk. And so that's also something we want to take on. And we know that that, um, we can discover that. There's other issues that are going to happen along with this dog, but ultimately those are two really great signs for us, and this would be a dog that we would definitely take and place in our shelter. So we'll be happy to take this one out of here, and it's been here for about 10 days. So, um, we'll see if we can kind of get her spayed and get her on the floor as quick as possible and help her find a home. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, shoot it, is it? Oh, come on. There we go. All right, got attacked again by a white dog. So, all right, we'll do it behind the cage door here. <laughs> so here we are, we're back at Friendship Animal Protective League. Um, Italy, as she has been called, is now back with us out of that shelter, which is gonna free them up a space to bring another dog in, which means we not only saved one life, we saved two by helping uh, them make room for a new dog to come into their shelter. So that's always the best feeling is when you've not only just given one dog a chance to find uh, a better chance to find a home like we did with this dog, but created the room and space necessary for a new dog to come into their facility. So that's a win-win success and uh, another dog saved. <laughs> 